Hey guys, welcome to Smokey and Live. My name is Kaywick, and in this episode, I'm going to show you this hookah I got. It's by Ominous, and uh, let's get to All it. Alright guys, so this is the box that the hookah comes in. Comes in a very nice, just a cardboard box. The Ominous. Alright, I'm going to try to open it up. Nicely packaged, everything. Bowl. Ashtray. The hose. Stem. Um, and dump stem and the base. Just all glass. Alright guys, so today I'm going to do a review on Omnis, which is a hookah company, or hookah manufacturer by New Tobacco, which is a very big company. They make uh, all kinds of different tobacco and stuff, like Ozel, which is the ones that you see white with a gold, uh, gold can kind of thing, and they make Deja Vu, and they do make Deja Vu coal, which is Japanese quick lights. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you the features that is on this this hookah. This hookah is composed of pure zinc. It's solid zinc. That is, uh, pretty much, it is a solid stem. It's not from like premium hookah where they use a hollow stem. What a hollow stem is is that pretty much it's just one stem that goes all the way down and just put things over, it. and you just can you can just connect those very easily. But this this is all one piece solid. So what that means is it's going to distribute the heat very well and it's very good. What makes Omnis a special company compared to Sahara and Maya is that for the price you pay, you're getting a very good hookah. Like most, most of the material that's made by this hookah is pretty high class. It's, it's pretty good. It's comparing to Maya's and Sahara's. And they do have plenty of different designs, like on this box. It has, you know, the original designs and then th they have some uh, designs that look like a Maya Colossus, which is very nice. And they, they will run you around $65. And for $65, you're, going, you're getting a two and a half feet hookah that's fully made out of zinc and hits well. It doesn't overheat as much. And that's why I prefer that Almas is a very great hookah. And what makes this hookah special compared to, let's say, a Maya and Sahara is that for the price you're paying, you're getting a very good hookah. Let's just say, like, a Maya, a one feet tall Maya, the most common ones you see. Like I have the uh, review on the other hookah. It was around $65 at a normal smoke shop. This one's $65, composed of the same material, and it's just as good and it's taller and looks better too, I have to say. Plus, from Saharans, they don't hit that well, but they do look very nice. So you're getting like pretty much the best of both worlds. They have plenty of different selections of colors and different hookahs. Like on this box, they have plenty of different other hookahs, and they look just as nice. I just want to give out a special thanks again to Omnis and to New Tobacco for giving me this hookah at ASD convention. Now if you were going to buy a Maya, it was going to cost you around $65, roughly around there. And a Sahara hookah, it will cost you $85. So for $65, this is a great deal. And they do have smaller hookahs that hits us as well. And um, if I do get around to it, I will make a uh, review on a smaller Omnis hookah. Okay guys. So I've been hitting this around maybe 30 minutes now, and I have to say I'm I'm pretty impressed because this is the first time of me using an uh, Omnis hookah. I've never used it before. This is the first review I have. This is the first Omnis hookah I have, and uh, I have to rate this for price and for how tall it is and for like how it hits. I would say I would give it a seven and a half out of ten, you know, and ten being as like a 3 feet tall, 4 feet tall uh, Kalamamoon hookah or Kaliamamoon depending on how you say it but they're pretty much both the same way other than that, okay so what I'm trying to say is Omnis makes a wide selection of hookahs from 3 feet tall to pretty much 1 feet tall and they're all in good pricing they're, they're all in reasonable pricing, that's what I'm trying to say it's, it's not like you're going to a smoke shop and you buy like a $150 cam, no, it's not like that. Like, this one is pretty much, it's, it's close to a 
uh, acrylic Maya that I have in the other room right now. And the acrylic Maya will run you around $85, which is $20 more than this. I have to say, this looks better. And I have to say, maybe the Maya does hit maybe a tad better, not a big difference. And if you ever get around to it, check them out on the website, almosthookah.com. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.